Welcome to another segment of the word for today. And the word for today is make me a sanctuary. Exodus 25 verse 8 says, let them make me a sanctuary that I may dwell among them. God's dwelling with man started with him creating a place, the earth, and then a home, the garden. Man in his perfect state benefited from the physical presence of an holy God. Herein was the love of God demonstrated, for it is clear that God's creation was intelligent by design and could have figured things out and basically survived without the direct input of God. Of course, for life to continue, God must be involved. But the point I am making is God didn't have to come down and talk with man face to face for them to survive. God did it because he wanted to. God's love compelled him to be with his creation. The beauty of creating man with free will is that God could have the opportunity to woo mankind. I say the Bible is one big love story. God created creatures that won't just love him by impulse, but as he revealed himself to them, they would fall in love with him. When Adam and Eve sinned, it interrupted God's courtship of mankind. Isaiah 59, 2 tells us, But your iniquities have separated between you and your God, and your sins have hid his face from you that he will not hear. God's holy nature wouldn't allow him to appear as he is in the midst of sin. Therefore, sin created a separation between man and God. A separation God could not accept. As much as it was man's choice to go against God, God wasn't about to give up that easily on his creation. God knew the risk of creating man with free will, yet he did it anyway because the reward was greater than the risk. The creator of the universe chased after mankind. Adam and Eve very early knew they had made a mistake and just didn't know how to fix it. God chasing after them was in part a response to their sorrow and need for reconciliation. They wanted to get back but they did not know how. Impact point. God's love for man was not diminished by man's mistake. 